about to show you one of the most beautiful things in the world. A pizza box. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What did I crash into? Buggy sometimes. Whoa! Okay, now there are trees floating in the air. God damn it, get the fuck out of the way, you son of a bitch! God! Should've just ran over you, dumbass. Look how I selected the Molotov. And then it didn't equip it. And I see, usually when I take time out of very precious seconds during this particular level, okay, it is imperative that the goddamn game recognizes when you are choosing something out of the inventory screen. That's all I'm saying. 
Hello everyone, this is Jack Madrox and welcome to Game Talk. Okay, so, and, and special guest star, uh, Petey the Cat. As co-host or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, okay, so, one thing I want to talk about, kind of vent about, is my frustrations with Red Dead Online. It's really, really frustrating every single time I try to get on Red Dead Online. God forbid even do a stream for it. Okay. And the game boots you. Okay. It's the same thing that everyone else has been kind of experiencing with it. You know, you're in the middle of doing a mission. And then all of a sudden, it'll just whoosh, tell you that you've been connected by fault of the Rockstar server. And, uh, but... I do have to say I can take comfort knowing that I'm not the only one experiencing these issues. I guess that's why I haven't really been putting out much Red Dead Online content uh, as of late. Um, I've been wanting to. I've been trying to. You know, but who the hell wants to watch me get disconnected every 10 minutes? Or, you know, if... If I'm even lucky enough to get enough gameplay in before t the 10 minute mark, you know? Um, I'm not even going to touch Red Dead Online anymore until Rockstar fixes that shit. Oh, what else did I want to talk about? Dead by Daylight and why I haven't been playing that anymore. It's a mixture of frustration and uh, just utter sheer stupidity from the developers behavior and I had already deleted the game before the hex ruin nerf came about the change to it so I can't really say it was a ruin nerf that made me quit but I will say the ruin nerf did factor whether or not I was going to come back to the game it's just more along the lines of what it says about the developers line of thinking when it comes to Dead by Daylight. They're concerned with making the game more fun for survivors, easier for survivors, and not really caring where, you know, uh, how their killer base is uh, feeling, you know? It's like they just don't care. You know, it, it just gets to a point to where it's ridiculous and like they refuse to acknowledge that there's a gen rushing problem in the game when there clearly is and they go ahead and they nerf ruin it's just uh... I had to talk about WWE 2K20 which is a game that I have not gotten yet I am I'm thinking about getting it the only thing that's been holding me back from getting the game is the bad reputation that this game has gotten. And, uh, rightfully so, you know. Just think that players who bought the WWE 2K20 on day one, okay, they were, for two weeks, they had to frickin' play a buggy fucking mess like that. Despite all that, though, it looks like a lot of the bugs have been fixed. A lot of glitches are gone. And I think I'm, I think I'm going to get it. And I saw this cool fantasy stuff that they've added to the game. With the demon arena. And the Mad Max kind of arena. You know. They're out in the sand. The Wasteland Wanderers uh, DLC. All that stuff looks really awesome. And anyways. That was game talk. And uh, there will be another one in the next episode in episode three i'm sure game on
That's all I'm saying. Throwing it out there. See what kind of response I get.
I got the gold score. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Holy shit balls. Fuck yeah. I did it. Walk but don't run. Run but don't fly. Silent don't talk. Talk but don't cry. Cry but don't feel. Feel but don't give. Give in but don't die. Motherfucker. Now we just got one life.